I have gained the ultimate knowledge. Okay, now I will show you how we can integrate over such a line over here to obtain some values. For this, simply you right click on derived values and you say integration and for example line integration. And now you have to select the solution that you have and this is, we have solution 1 right now. If you are not sure, then you just go to your surface plot and see what data set you are working in. This is solution 1. So we go back to the line integration, select solution 1, the frequency range to be sure what we have. We don't say all, we say from list to see all our frequencies. We see we have just one and this is the one that we selected in this step over here, the frequency domain. If we click on it, here we said the frequency should be the speed of light divided by lambda. And if we go to the surface plot, also it tells us the frequency that we simulated is 10 to the 14 hertz. So in line integration, over um, we say from list, we see, okay, this is the frequency that we simulated. And now we have to define the selection. Where should we make the integration? And we wanted to see how much power gets to this line over here. So we click on the line, right click it to define it. And now we have to define the expression. For the expression I chose the normalized pointing vector, that means the x component squared of the pointing vector, y component and z component, and then the square root of all these values. And um, the unit after the integration will be watts per meter. And after we define that, we just say, we go here and we say evaluate. And then we get the result over here. That means for the frequency that we defined is 10 to the 14 hertz. The value that we defined here is 10 to the minus 37 watts per meter. And now we could also add this line to our simulation and this line. And we say again compute. And this will be the value um, if we integrate over these lines. Or we could go and say we want to make uh, integration over the surface. So we right click on derived values, surface integration. We say again solution one, okay, parameter to, to see what parameters, okay, it's this one. The selection, we want to have all of this area. We right click it. Again, we say the expression should be this normalized pointing vector. It will be watts. Then we say here clear the table and then we say compute and then we get our uh, watts it's 10 to minus 42 watts on this small area over here I have gained the ultimate knowledge.